Hi Devang, good morning. Good morning. How are you Devang? I am good. How about you? I am good. Devang, my name is Ganesh. I am from Career 24-7. I am in this data space for 7 plus years now. I am very happy to have you in this interview. Devang, I have gone through your profile. Yeah. Uh, you have shared your resume already. Yeah. So I want to hear from you. So what made you to get into data analytics old? So you have enrolled in this course. What is your experience? And also add some more um, details about your background. Myself Devang, I have done my BCA from Indian University, Uttar Pradesh. In that while learning, I have also keen interest in data analytics, mostly in dealing with Python. So I have used Python in my previous courses and learnings. And also in there, I have created some project about how we can utilize the data sources from Excel to the Power BI, like creating visuals from Python. Okay, so I have an interest, but where I have very little knowledge in about data analytics. So I have enrolled in some course uh, for enhancing my skills. So I have gained lots of ideas about how Python works with the Power BI and promoting data cleaning, something like that. Okay. So that's all for my set. And now I'm, I am for the interview here. Thank you. Devang, let us start the technical discussion. Okay. As you mentioned, you know Python. Yeah. Let me start with Python only. So you must be using data frames yeah. when right. working on some projects or assignments. So I want to ask you, what is the difference between LOC and ILOC? I have used them both methods. These are from the Panels library, LOC is used when we have row and index labels and while we can use ILOC when we have only index for the rows and columns. So I have used more of the LOC because of that they need us to provide the labels. So it's for me. Okay. Devan, have you used list comprehension anytime? Yeah. In my project, I have used uh, list comprehension. Okay. So most probably I use list comprehension when I have the to generate data for testing only. Not bigger, but smaller ones. And then I use no for loops. When I have data for generating nested labels, then I prefer to use for loops. And while creating only single line data set, then I use uh, curly comprehension. So that means you have used both for loops and then list comprehension. Yeah, both of them. So which is faster between these two? I prefer to use list comprehension. Okay, great. Devang, can you list out three common ways to handle missing values in data frame? To handle missing values in data frames, I have uh, used three methods. First one is drop NA, fill NA, and the last one that I have not used, but I know it's called model based imputation. Okay, so when did you use fill NA? We use fill NA when we know that either we can use uh, to fill median or mode in that blank data space. Okay, so when did you use drop NA? Drop NA we can use when we know there are lots of, lots of rows that, can, that we can afford to lose. Okay, fine. Devank, you must be writing code and programs in Python. Yeah. So, while doing trial and error or while doing practice, you must have come across something called key error. Yeah, a lot. So, what is key error in Python? Let's suppose um, we have a dictionary. We have lots of uh, key and value pairs. And sometimes we like na, we want to retrieve uh, lots of keys. And we don't know th uh, the keys exist or not. So whenever we use a key that doesn't exist in a dictionary, the key error comes out. Okay, got it. Okay, Devank, I'm going to share you a link now. Okay. Uh, that will take you to a document and also Google Collab. There is a question for you. I want you to write code for that. Okay. Okay. And also please share your screen. Sure. First click? Yes. Okay, Devank, I have given you a data frame. Okay, with just few records. Mm -hmm. So this is basically a sales data frame with the attributes like date, region, product, units, and then unit price. Okay. okay. I want you to compute total revenue per region. I want only top two regions. Okay. And output should be saved in a CSV format. Oh. Can you do that? Yeah. Okay. So I will stand the code part right away. So first I will this run the code. Okay. So total revenue per reason and save as part of the party. Okay. My variables. Variable link says df. Revenue. I will getting a new key column for revenue part. Okay. And 
I will multiply the sales uh, units with unit price. Okay. Sales day of revenue employee back is yes. this will get me the total revenue part. Okay. Okay. So let me run this first is complete. And this asking me for per region. No, okay. So I need to also group. No, okay. So what I'm gonna do? Okay, I will read this one sales df dot group. by region okay i don't need indexes so i will make this false this parameter okay and this thing i want to group region with revenue and as any total i will do the sum to and finally, we'll part and uh, save total regions. Okay. Okay. So sum and uh, sort values, values by uh, revenue and with um. This also gives me the in this uh, ascending order. So I will make it a. Uh, Descending. No, okay. By passing the parameter sending as false. Okay. And the last part is head and with two. Okay. Okay. So I got the total revenue, and it need to be in a top. But can you please can you print what is total revenue there? Oh, okay. Okay. Sure. And I will do this total revenue, and run this code again. Okay. Great. Okay. So for the last part, um, I will just save it to the top regions dots and let me copy the name. Okay, done. Great Devank. Devank, you have used group by yeah. Uh, do you think we can also achieve the same problem using any different method? I have used most of the group by. It's okay. quite easy. I'm familiar with it. Maybe there are some other method which I don't know. But uh, my colleagues do talk about this. But uh, sure. in my course, course and also in my syllabus, I have used so many times group by. So I'm familiar with it. So is this possible using pivot table as well? Yeah, sure. Okay, great. Okay, Devang, let's get into some SQL questions as well. Okay. Um, so, how good are you in SQL? How did you use SQL as part of your academic projects? What were what were some assignments or projects that you have done in the past? Can you just walk through that? Okay, I have uh, because not to get data set in proper order and to make them in a row column by data. Okay. So, I have used um, SQL queries a lot compared to the Power BI. I have okay. SQL with Python a lot okay. in my previous projects. Great. I wanted to ask you a few questions on SQL as well. So I hope you are comfortable with SQL yeah. as you worked on the projects. Did you come across the constraints in SQL? Yeah. Okay. So what is the difference between primary key and unique? Okay. So primary key, in while we create a table, we create a column with the primary key. That means we want this column to be unique. Means it uh, doesn't have duplicate data. It be generated by own and uh, also in primary key, whenever we design a uh, table with primary key, it shouldn't, it never be null. Okay. Okay. And while we use a unique constraint, I any columns because in table we can create column multiple column with unique constraints, and that makes sure that the data will be unique and different. And also, it have uh, with it is not make sure that the column should not have null value ones. Okay. 
Devank, what is your experience working with these databases? So have you ever created tables by yourself or have you always used the tables created by somebody? Most of the time I have worked with the Python means I, I am the person that need to be sure that the data that I have to be cleaned okay. and properly arranged to give them the uh, SQL guy. So he can uh, store the data in, and provide the next, so the next process. Okay, great. Okay, Devank, uh, I hope you work with joins as well. Yeah. So, what is the major difference between inner join and left join? Okay. So, inner join will get the data from the boot table. If we have two tables, we are applying an inner join that will make sure that we data the match data, okay. common data from boot table. Okay. Okay. And for the other part, we have, uh, can I ask again the other part? Inner join and left join. Okay, sorry. So, inner join, I have told you. And the left join will look at that whenever we applying a left join on two tables. So the left join on the first table will get the data. Either even if we don't have the data in the right on table, we will get the nulls no. on the column. Great. Okay. So did you use subqueries in any of your projects? A very few times. Okay. So what is subquery? So subquery, uh, we can say that it's in a nested queries. Like one oh. query is depending on another query. Okay. Okay. For instance, uh, I have used uh, just um, some days ago a query. Um, we were expected to have some candidates with their uh, salary by data with yeah. almost uh, the average level. Hmm. Means uh, if a candidate, we have a company has 50 candidates and we want them average data. Okay. Okay. So we first run the sub query that will get the average of the uh, all the candidates, and then we will uh, get the all the candidates that are above than average. So I have utilized the sub query there. Great. Even how is statistics uh, considered in data analytics world? Like how do you use statistics in your code or in your projects? Okay. In statistics, I have used to utilize my like now uh, predictions, how the things were repeated, process analyzement to the whole data sets. So I have a few much understanding with the statics, topic like probability and things going on. Okay. So as you mentioned probability, what do you mean by probability? Okay. Probability, we can say if we have uh, lots of uh, events going on and we say what is the chance of happening certain events, then we can say there's a probability this will happen. Okay. So if for a big uh, example, if we toss a coin, there is a chance the, the coin will land on heads, but I don't tell. So we have um, 0.5 or 1 by 2 half chance that we will get the head or either tail. Okay. So did you perform hypothesis testing on any use case? Yeah, so, some days ago. Okay. So I'll give you a scenario. Can, okay. you, can you conclude what is the decision that you made? Okay. So I have two web page designs and... Uh, Conducted hypothesis testing on the null hypothesis says that conversion rate from both the web, web designs is same. Okay. Now after the test, I got a p-value of 0 0.08 with a significance value of 5%, which is 0 0.05 again. So from this entire test, what do you conclude basically? Okay. If we running a test, hypothesis test, and we got the null thesis also, and uh, on two web designs, and we getting a p value of 0 0.08 we can send the percentage yes 0 .08. so we can say that 0 0.08 is a very extreme result of happening random choice i guess and uh, further on we also given the significance level 5% or 0 0.05 so we have also decision rule if the p value is less than or equal to the significance level then we can say we can deny the null hypothesis okay but since we have the greater value 0.08 greater than the our significance label. So we can conclude that the design is very extremely rare chance that these are different. Okay. So what is your conclusion, Samuel? So I will say the both are the same. Both are the same in the sense conversion rate. Yeah, in conversion rate is same. Okay, okay Devank, uh, consider yourself as a junior data analyst. Okay. Working in an e-commerce setup. So your manager or superior is asking you to work on a task. So basically, there is something called average order value that has gone down by 15% in last quarter. So, did you understand what I am trying to say? So, basically, you are working in an e-commerce company. Okay. You, you have been assigned a task by your manager. So, 
एवरेज ऑर्डर वैल्यू गॉन बाई फिफ्टीन परसेंट इन लास्ट क्वार्टर बेसिकली द वैल्यू फेल डॉन एंड नंबर ऑफ विजिट स्टेड फ्लैट सो योर टास्क इज टू फाइंड आउट वाई दिस हैपन एंड एनी इम्प्रूवमेंट दैट यू वॉन्ट टू सजेस्ट हाउ हाउ वुड यू डील विद दिस काइंड ऑफ सिचुएशन आई विल फर्स्ट स्टार्ट बाई स्लाइसिंग द एवरेज ऑर्डर वैल्यू बाय अ चैनल लेवल ओके सो द ऑर्डर लेवल and further on i can analyze the baskets if there some point going on and sometime order drips is some things happening on with order delivery or something like that okay and further on i can also go on like you no know, sometime we create order promos okay okay so i will uh, let it be duration reduced okay. so your promos may expire in some time not than like week 2 week 3 they happening okay so after that analyzing all the things like baskets and promo codes we can further on go on and uh, see the where is like uh, we have some trends going on so i will uh, see the will higher pickups of trends the the order the picked up on more than the other so i will try to find a trend from this okay and for like uh, increasing the chance of being our uh, increment like see we can see that we are dropping average value order so to increase them i will what we suggest that we can reduce the duration of the promos they be giving on discounts on the or certain orders that will certain make sure that we are uh, getting more values on customer orders thank you devank see uh, thanks for your time while explaining statistics when i asked you how exactly statistics is coming into the data analytics board so you can actually relate how exactly statistics have taken part in your projects or assignment or any other work that you have done so how exactly you have used statistics techniques in any of the project for example if you have used hypothesis testing or probability you could have related that answer saying that so on so project to to find out an insight up to conclude something i performed hypothesis testing that is where the statistics playing a key role so this is one point that you can note uh, i really like the way you coded and then also the way you get query and coming to answering the questions so you have knowledge on the subject but try to communicate the answer in a way that it can be easily understandable for by the opposite so break down the problem into different different steps for example when a question is asked try to break down the answer into different pieces and then explain each bit so that tan builds up that's it